33. Coach Golden, year number one, off the stint at San Francisco. It'll be Castleton against Vlad Golden, opening tap controlled by the home team in white unis tonight, the Florida Gators. Good to be working with you again, partner. Week number two, man, it's here already. Lofted inside, and the St. Bonaventure transfer connects. Don't you want, don't you know that Lofton wants to get that bad taste of the last game out of his mouth? Hey, yeah, caught a little flack. So take a look at the starting five for the Owls out of Conference USA. Inside and off the mark. There's Elijah Martin. Lofton on the other end, and an offensive foul, his first. Just went too far that time. Pull up, take your little 10 foot jumper. Gators 2 0. Wins over Stony Brook and Kennesaw State. Early part of the season. Take a look at the starting five. We'll roll the same five we've seen thus far. Kowasi Reeves returns. Off to a good start. Will Richard, the transfer from Belmont, second on the team in scoring at a shade under 15. And Coach Golden with some weapons, trying to figure things out early in non conference play. Martin off the high ball screen, and a foul called as he hit the deck. Now Dusty Mayo, familiar name to Florida fans, an assistant here for three years, now at FAU, going back to 2018. 67 wins, their most in program history in his tenure there. Black Golden turned it over, Gators get it back. Here's Castleton from the elbow. He's got that in the arsenal, but off the mark. And a foul over the back. That'll go against C.J. Felder. Todd Golden, we told you about his time at San Francisco, USF, and led the Dons to the NCAA tournament last year. He's going to give a lot of freedom, I think, to Colin Castleton. We talked about it in the open. Castleton, much more comfortable facing the basket. He does shoot his jumper, the mid-range jumper, with a little fadeaway, and I've noticed most of those Come up short. A good matchup down low. Castleton wins that battle. The Gators will get it back. Yeah, I think this is a push off on Martin. Weak side glass. This is an undersized FAU club with the exception of Golden. One of their challenges tonight will be on the glass. FAU likes to switch one through four. That means everybody but Golden will switch on the perimeter. Wacy Reeves dumps it off to Felger. Lost the handle, corrals it, and rejected. Black Golden coming off a career high 19 and a 13 point loss at Ole Miss, and that's a block. It'll send it eventually back to Florida. Take another look. We talked about how Castleton impacts the game on both ends of the floor. And there he is with a little rim protection. He was already refereeing. Refereeing the play. Refereeing, refereeing? <laughs> yes. We'll roll with it. <laughs> Speaking of refereeing, we've got a lot of experience on the floor oh, tonight do with this we? veteran officiating crew. Joe Lindsay, 25 years. Pat Adams, 25 more. Matt Jarman, four years. Over a century of combined experience. Still 2 nothing. two minutes in. Lofton was out early shooting threes. Castleton, penetrating move, no, tapped out. Back to FAU. It's Matt Jarman, Pat Adams, and Joe Lindsay. They were smiling when I asked that question. What, weren't they, Joe Lindsay? Was, he was quick. 25. I think everybody's in a good mood this time of year, you know. Yes. Haven't been a lot of technical fouls this year. Somebody has come right out of their shoe. Will Richard lost it. Al still scoreless. Felder the rebound falling down. Reeves, no good, was stripped. It'll stay on this end. Will Richard is looking around for his shoe. Give it to him. 
<laughs> Fan finds it. Here we go. Take a. Did he just look. come flying off? Yeah, I think he was on defense. And I saw him slide. I think. Yeah, right there. Reeves left open, launching. Richer the board, and a press 20. Reeves a monster pump fake. Short. Rosado with the rebound. Yeah, still would like whether you're guard or not, big man, forward. Playoff two feet. Open three is good. That will not please Todd Golden. He does not want to give this FAU team, who shoots a lot of threes and makes a lot of threes, quality looks. That first points of the game from John L. Davis. That's a three inside Lofton. Gators back in front. Well, you love his game, don't you? Yeah, he plays under control. He sees the play almost two passes ahead. All the experience. Brian Greenlee, Gainesville native, short. Gators will push tempo. Kwesi Reeves, quick trigger, and that's good. I think that's the Kwesi Reeves as a sophomore. Maybe as a freshman, he doesn't shoot that after missing his first one. No, he goes ahead and shoots that second one with confidence. Is that the great light with yes. Golden's offense? Yes. Fun guy to play for. No, absolutely. Boyd off the screen back iron. It certainly is a different feel here with what Ford is going to utilize on both ends of the floor. Castleton for three. Count it! First of his career. Go ahead. Tell everybody what I told you before the game. He would get it tonight. <laughs> He's been working on it. Lead at seven. Left-handed layup is good by Davis. Well, that's a great finish by Davis, who Dusty May said was his most pleasant surprise this season from practice one until game three. You think Castleton will want a heat check now? Let's see. I mean, we watched him drain a lot of threes at this time. But everything looks good. I've always said that about his shot. If he can become a pick and pop five man, oh. Davis has all five FAU points. Martin for three. Castleton turned it over, the potential fast break. And a nice layup, the backside by Boyd. Castleton was pointing to his chest, my fault. He knew he took it too far off the bounce. Got too excited with that three, right? <laughs> yes. He's acting like a guard. Pump fake here, jump hook there. No. Pretty obvious they want to get him a lot of early touches, but Florida, a little tardy in transition defense. Quickly ahead to Richard. Baseline. Out of control. Yeah, these are sloppy possessions by both teams. Mismatch in transition. Greatly against Castleton. No. Second block for number 12. Todd Golden, year number one, will tell you about his path. We're ahead by three. Opponents got it five seconds ago. I'm fouling. The number one thing, yes. That That is the number one thing. Is that up too late? And do you go ahead and foul? A steal by Kugel, who just checked in. Al's get it right back. Defense by Martin on the other side. Yeah, no reason to give it back after you've gone to the trouble of forcing the turnover. Well, turnovers are something that Todd Golden's been pleased with so far this season. As a foul was called, Jalen Gaffney was tapped on the elbow. Yeah, that's the kind of foul that you do not want Castleton to pick up. But because of the size of FAU, they basically play four guards at all times. That means... In transition, Castleton at times can get matched up with one of those smaller players. One more coming. Don't forget, coming up Thursday night, college basketball doubleheader up first, live from Rupp, SC State, and Kentucky. Oscar Sheepway, National Player of the Year, back in action at that point in South Dakota, Mississippi State.
in Starkville. We'll follow that one live from the hump, 9 o'clock Eastern. Right here on SEC Network, Tolu Smith, preseason all-conference this year. One possession game, six and a half in. FAU did this in their road game against Ole Miss, a little one, two, two, three-quarter track. 13-point loss for the Owls in Oxford in that game. That was a strange finish down the last five minutes because they actually had a possession to get within five and had a misfortunate gravity of the rim. Could have been a basket instead of technical foul. It changed everything. Bunch inside, no. Well, that is room service by Lofton. You've got to make those. And another foul called before the shot. Well, this will be, I think, a challenge for Florida and all of their wing players tonight because you're going to have to guard most of the time somebody smaller and somebody quicker. Jatobo and Castleton now. You're going to have to really do a hard effort job defensively to move your feet. Defense is played with your feet, not your hands. I think I always got that wrong in JV. <laughs> Off the inbounds, three-pointers, good. Yeah, that's where Jones got caught trailing. Guess who made it? Michael Forrest. First time we've seen him in action this year for FAU. Now the midst of an 8-0 run. He, had uh, he eight. was listed as day-to-day -day before this game and now on the floor for the first time. 85 makes a season ago. The wraparound corner. Same side that, as the ball was inbounded. He's just got to get there quicker. Kugel off the bounce, Kugel strip, and he was going up. That'll be two free throws. It's a good look at the freshman who's on a learning curve like most freshmen. Has some good moments, has some struggling moments. He's been relatively solid in the first two games, averaging five points a game, but only two for eight from the field. Good moments, bad moments, sounds like broadcasters. <laughs> Kugel with the line, five for six, make it five for seven. If I'm Todd Golden, the one thing that's going to concern me when I look down at the stats every time out, three-point shooting, and already FAU just two for three. That's a big deal in this game. Over two at the strike. It's just like a turnover. Gaffney will run the offense for FAU. Another big year expected for the SEC. Host of teams ranked. Joe Lenardi's already putting out bracketology updates. He's got seven in. Forrest rejected by Jatoma. And out of bounds back to the Gators. Did you hear what I said right there? Yes. Lenardi's back in the mix already. Yes. Here's another look. Watch Jatobo sliding. Creates the block, but the effort play by Kugel keeps it alive in the corner and deflects off an owl, and that's the reason why the Gators get the ball. How great is it to see Jason Jatobo back? Oh, that's, it's a, there's several wonderful stories in college basketball this year. His is one of them. Devastating eye injury, had surgery, foul call, penetration by Lofton. And a timeout as we step aside. One point lead for the road team. Gators shooting free throws. Lie and Jack. Great story always when you get those kinds of matchups. And listen, if Jack's in the game tonight, probably not good news for Dad. One more free throw coming for Lofton, who now has five points. I mean, do you talk trash? If your team is up, you're on the floor, and Dad's coaching <laughs> on the other sideline. How does that work? No, I don't think uh, I don't think that's allowed. It's bad for the Thanksgiving vibes <laughs> yes. for the family. <laughs> Nothing like Thanksgiving dinner tension. Somewhere there's a Festivus reference coming. Turnaround elbow, Jay, well short. Fudge may have touched it, he did not. There's a fadeaway by Rosado. So the Rowdies are letting him hear it. Gators without a field goal in the last four minutes. I think this four straight. Sorry, bro. I think this switching man-to-man -man is giving them some problems. 
They worked on that and shoot around a little bit today with flat cutting, how to do deal with the switching. Floater for Lofton, back iron. Rosado the board. Florida's missed some shots in the paint. 4-15 to start for the Gators. Lead it by one. Three-pointer was blocked. Highly active game so far. Some sloppy possessions as you referenced. Three-pointer's good, and that was Forrest, his second triple. Yeah, I don't think you can go under a screen with Forrest. That's too much room. Guy that averaged better than 13 points a game a year ago. We were told it would be possible he could see the floor tonight. Owls have been on the road for the last, what, week plus due to Hurricane Nicole that blew through the Sunshine State a week ago. Kugel lost the handle. Jatobo hits the deck. And the held possession will give it back to the Owls. Watch the defender Jones go under this ball screen. When he gets caught on the screen and goes under, that's way too much room. Forrest is way too good of a three ball maker. Took up 241 of them from bonus land a year ago. That has to be fun to shoot that many threes. Yes. I've seen you shoot that many threes. In warm-ups. Sadly. I made 10. <laughs> Gaffney will bring up the ball against Lofton. Gators 2-0. Owls are 1-1. One one. Their loss against Ole Miss. Gaffney outside, an open look from the wing. Lofton will be the big fella. He was fouled. Golden already has one personal. That's 50 in blue. Let's see who this one's on. Don't you like the way Lofton is under control when he gets that drag ball screen in transition? Doesn't get in a hurry. Surveys, evaluates, nifty little pocket pass to the big. Well, you know I love it when you ask me the questions, but the answer is a resounding yes. <laughs> Foul was called against Martin. That's his second. All that experience from St. Bonaventure it was 39 minutes per game a year ago. Still in the midst of football season. What a week we've got for you coming up on Saturday. How about four games at noon? Three on plus. Florida at Vanderbilt. Up to Nashville goes Billy Napier. Skaters, Western Kentucky and Auburn. Cadillac Williams saying hello. That's at 4 Eastern. Then Ole Miss and Arkansas in primetime. 7.30 Saturday night right here on SEC Network and also on the ESPN app. Don't tell me now, but I'm going to ask you during, sometime during the broadcast about the college football playoff and whether you agree with who's in and who's not. The easy answer is right now, yes. The, the difficult answer long term is things will change. The what ifs? Right. Tennessee right now thinking what if. Forest left open. Oh, that, that's nine off the bench. Again, they're chasing the, around these screens. They're going to have to have help. The bigs are going to have to come up and hedge. Colin Castleton now over 800 points. Florida career. Comes up short. Fudge the rebound. Bottom checks in for the first time for the Gators. Contact. There's a whistle and an offensive foul. That's a big call with Golden already with one personal. And Kugel just way too out of control on the bounce. Fudge had gotten the offensive rebound, did the right thing looking for a shooter. And then Kugel goes in, the quick hands defensively that time by Nick Boyd. Gators without a field goal in the last six plus minutes. Now here's a challenge. Can you stop a hot shooter? Hot shooters 11 and blue, Michael Porras. He'll get it back. Travel. No call, double dribble. Got called no man's land. Yeah, so Florida is doing a soft hedge on the screens, and they may have to get a little more aggressive there. Defenders are going to have to keep the ball out of Michael Forrest's hands. Nine to go in our first half. Gators led early 10-3. Fort Atlantic's battle back. Castleton 
with a path. And a chance for three. This is a nifty little Castleton out at the elbow, then gets a screen block to block. That creates enough space for him to get it down in the scoring zone. Really good with that one-handed 10-foot little half hook. Tough shot. Tough shot. This is an area where he wants to improve this year. He took some steps backward. Now remember, he had the bum shoulder last year and played through that. But his free throw percentage dropped from 78 to 70. Slow start at the line this season at just 58%. You asked him an interesting question, I thought, today, just in his return to Gainesville. And the primary reason why, in addition to Todd Golden, but he mentioned his health. Yeah, shoulder. He said, I think he understands where he is in terms of a potential draft order right now and knows that in order to make it from that spot, you have to be healthy. And he was quite candid that he needed to come back and get healthy. And he has. And the Gators are better off for it. Greatly off the mark from downtown. So you got to throw it in there. Bottom left open. And slapped out. Back to FAU. See, that's way too quick of a trigger until Castleton gets a touch. You can get that shot any time. So it's interesting that Richard has drawn the assignment of Michael Forrest. You like that matchup? Well, it, I'm saying it's interesting because a transfer from a smaller school like Richard is from Belmont is quite the challenge. But if you've got Colin Castleton inside... Uh, Richard with the... Slight size advantage. Trying to tee him up. Greenly open. That's a corner three. Richard skies for the board. Really impressed with the little things that Will Richard does. Todd Gold utilized that phrase several times in our conversations with him today. Castleton already hit his first career three tonight. Spin move here. And he turns it over. And then FAU gives it right back. That's a kind whistle there. I thought there was a little contact. Castleton gets in trouble sometimes when he tries to spin in the paint. Too many bodies, too many hands. Too many little dudes down there ready to <laughs> yes. intercept. Tied at 17, seven and a half to go. And double fouls called by Pat Adams. Lacey Reeves. A double foul has been called on Florida Atlantic number two, Nick Boyd. And Nick Boyd. This is an 18 foul. And for Florida, number 18, Lacey Reeves. This first. First on Reeves as well. Substitution for Florida, number 11, Kyle Lofton. Lofton back in, bottom to the bench. Roy, I don't know if Lofton will play 38 minutes a game this year. I don't think he will. But it won't be far from that. They need him. Kowasi Reeves. Pops back to Richard. Up and in. Now this is where Florida can flex their muscles a little bit. Play a little bit higher above the rim. The size advantage in favor of the home team. No question. Especially once the ball gets up on the glass. Four guard lineup most of the time for FAU. Shot clock down to 10. First time tonight we've said that. Isolation on top for Davis. John L. Davis dribbled it off his foot. Calls a timeout on the deck. Take another look at second chance opportunity. At least for the first two months we're doing that. At, I was going to say at least until January 1. Almost after football season yes. officially ends. Yes. Is that fair? Four to shoot. Wide open. What a play out of the timeout. Rosado with the layup. Just miscommunication defensively. That's a no-no. Nice call, though. We'll screen the screener and slip. Did have screen the screener on my bingo card tonight, so I feel like I'm winning. Rosado, check that Richard. Trying the bounce pass. Couldn't thread the needle. 
FAU man switching man is really active and really quick. Castleton with a pass. Tried the layup. Felder gets it back and he was stripped. Back to FAU. I thought Castleton was going to dunk that. Yeah, Florida missed two gimmies there. First Castleton, then Felder. Here's the Castleton miss. Felder slices in. He does get it blocked from behind. Rosado against Castleton. That's the second time he's done that one foot fadeaway. Gators two for their last 13. Castleton has one of those. Now one of three from distance. Danger. Davis banks home the triple. Yeah, you could see it coming. Not getting matched up in transition. Owls make them pay. Castleton, patient finish that time. Back to a one point game. Kind of an Iron Man finish down in the paint. Castleton tonight already with 10 points, coming off the career high 33. Open look for Boyd. That's a three. And now FAU feeling it from beyond the arc, making six. It's not really complicated. They've got good movement. They're utilizing their quickness to get feet in the paint. And an offensive foul gives it back to the Owls. FAU, who came into tonight's game in their first two games, making nine. First in trailing in transition, the three ball that time by Davis. And then after ball reversal and penetration, the left-hander Boyd knocks down the three ball. Owls right now are flying at the arc. See what you did there. What do you want to see different from Florida? Oh, you've got to get your feet above the arc. Give up twos if you have to. I also think Florida could play better offense. Forrest thinking about it. The drive and the finish. 27-21. You may have to think about zoning a little bit just to give FAU a different look, but Michael Forrest in the zone. 11 off the bench, Castleton already in double figures. The spin, no. The rebound controlled by Gaines. Owls with their largest lead at six. Approaching four to go in the first, Davis. Gaines had a chance on the putback. Lofton comes away with it. Florida a little fortunate there. FAU getting whatever they want right now. Castleton with a rebound, rips it away from Gaines. And a foul down low. 349 remaining. FAU out in front of Florida. How about this, Roy? Florida two for seven, 28% from three. But they're just five for 20 from two. There have been some point-blank opportunities, yes. right? Yes. That should be one of the messages, probably, fellas. They'll, they'll start falling. Well, Richard has been solid at the line this year to start his Florida career. Rolls in the seconds, down to four-point lead. It's a big segment, I think, for FAU. I mean, they're, they're landing the first couple of punches in this game. They want to keep it that way. Green lane, short. Castleton claims the board. Entertaining game. Bunch! The jam! And the response by John L. Davis. But again, the freshman got caught not matching up in transition. Lead back to five. Seven triples connected. For FAU here in our first half in counting. Under three to go, shot clock under 10. Fudge, Castleton, he was hacked. 
Poetry in motion with Fudge right here. Keep your eye on Lofton's eyes, though. Look at him. Survey the court. He saw Fudge streaking up the right sideline. Led him perfectly because the defender, Gaines, read the lob. But the pass was too good. It's like that defensive back that's in the right position, but the quarterback throw was so good. That was a Mahomes-esque throw by Lofton, if you will, to Fudge. Mahomes executes that no-look pass on occasion, right? Yes. Castleton rolls in the first. He'll get one more. Lofton will be talking about his experience, his 1,600 points that he scored before arriving on campus here, three-time all-conference performer in the A-10 at St. Bonaventure. Castleton stuff in the stat sheet. Already 12, 5, and 3, as in three blocks. Keep your eye on the guy guarding the ball for Florida. Can they keep the ball in front? Right now, it doesn't matter. If you're going under a screen, you're going to get burned. Davis, another three. That has been the story in this first half. Florida Atlantic from downtown. Richard got caught. Right now, the FAU defense has got Florida all out of sorts. The FAU defense is dictating what kind of shot Florida's getting. Stolen by Lofton. One on two. How about that move? Oh, missed the layup. Here comes Gaffney. Over to Boyd. In the end we go. 33-29. And a timeout called by Dusty May. Bounce pass inside. Davis a rare miss. Stripped away by Gaines. Right now, FAU, the quicker team to the ball on both ends of the floor. Dump off. Gaines was fouled. Free throws coming for number five in blue. Just great half-court execution. That backdoor look was called by Dusty May out of that timeout. Second foul on Bunch. And Gaines at the line, his first free throws of the season. Every Saturday morning, McGee and SEC Nation bring you extensive SEC game previews with the latest news from around the conference that you won't find anywhere else. This week, the guys will be in Columbia, South Carolina. Number five, Tennessee's in town to tangle with the Gamecocks later that night. Don't forget about two hours of SEC Nation as well. I'll take you right up to kickoff. Both are right here. And the SEC Network also on the app. How about the contributions that FAU is getting from a multitude of people? Gain steps in, knocks down those free throws. Back to the 1-2-2. Two, two. Second Six-point lead, 114 to go. And the scoring advantage coming off the bench so far for the house. 16 to 2 in their favor. Lofton at corner three. That's good. 35-32. It's one of the few times that Florida's offense got FAU in a defensive rotation. Davis and Forrest have been red hot from deep. Davis step back. And a foul on the rebound. I talk, how do you get a team in defensive rotation? You have ball reversal. Fudge, ball fakes, and then one more pass, the extra pass. This time from Kugel in the corner. And Lofton knocks down the three. And you, for the first time, you felt like, okay, Florida offensively got what they wanted. Kugel at the line. Freshman from Orlando. Struggle to the stripes so far tonight. Now 0 for 3. Yeah, all three of his misses have been long.
Gators in the double bonus. This is his half. Rattles that one home. Good one in the O-Dome tonight. This has been an interesting start. Two teams that don't play each other all that often. Boyd, no. Fudge, yes, with a board. Shot clock is off. And Colin Castleton says, let's slow it down. Todd Golden was almost to midcourt. <laughs> little timeout. Wants to get his group organized. All right, so you draw something up for us here during the... No, that's just hoops weather. It's not cold. It's just hoops weather, my friend. Yeah. Out of the timeout, let's see what Todd Golden wants to dial up. Let's see if Castleton sets the screen. They may play through Castleton on the elbow. Defended by Rosado. One on two, Castleton, two strong. Off the glass, right before the buzzer, count the basket. And we end the first 20 exactly where we started. We are tied. First half to the second half. That's a uh, almost like a two for one. Absolutely. Yeah. Two for none. All right, second half underway. Lofton and the Gators with possession. Led by as many as seven. Early it was 10 to three. FAU went on a run. They led by as many as six before Florida closed strong. And a foul. That'll be against Golden, and that's going to be his third. So he's scoreless tonight after 19 at Ole Miss. Boy, Castleton working hard. There was a lot going on in that first possession. There was a backdoor look, and then the screen that we talked about, Lofton and Castleton, they don't want to switch that. So Lofton read that beautifully and created the mismatch down low. Golden goes out. And that's 7-1 frame, just a sophomore from Russia, transferring in from Texas Tech. He was so good at Ole Miss. Not heard from him so far tonight. Exception of the fouls. Just tuning in, Castleton had a three, the first of his career in our first half. 12 points overall, now with 14. It didn't look pretty, but get the ball to the big fella in the paint, good things will happen. You can tell he's healthy. You can tell the confidence is there now in that shoulder that was banged up last year. He's also being more vocal out there. Rosado, the runner is all net. Well, that is a big time finish. Forrest on the bench telling him keep, keep eating, keep eating. Here's this same two man game. One side of the floor. Stop and pop for Lofton. Yeah, they may be on to something. Adjustment from the locker room. Rosado against Castleton. And now Boyd. The left hand, no. Castleton the board. It's a smart play by Reeves, didn't have numbers. I thought he was going to push. Castleton, how about the pass? Ball rotation. Richard. Gators by five. So many times the same side that the ball came from is usually open. Florida took advantage of that. Backdoor cut, Davis, left-hand layup. Well, Davis has been really good too, hasn't he? 16 points. Hard to guard. Back to a one possession game. Fast start offensively for both sides here in the second. Castleton attacking and finishing in the open Roy I talked about how improved he is facing the basket there's an example 16 7 and three blocks tonight for Colin Castleton Boyd outside to Davis side of the backboard
and missed it that time. Tapped out. Back to the Owls. Go back to Florida operating. See where the ball came from, the right side of the floor, and then Reeves throws it back. Free throw line extended. Richard knocks down the three ball. That gets the Rowdies up. Rowdies have been rowdy. Rowdies have been in midseason form tonight. I don't want to say that I'm surprised, right? but it's been nice. Broadcasters like atmosphere. Yes. Is that okay to say? Absolutely. All right. Regardless of sport. Forrest off the screen. Rare miss. Tracked down by Martin. He finally corrals it deep in the backcourt. We got another shoot. Castleton has another rebound. His eight. Big man back to work. Uh, he's taken over the game, hasn't he? Yes. Rosado. In and out. But did you notice Castleton knew to lead that alone? Didn't create the foul. That's maturity defensively. He's got 18 points. Oh. Give him 20. And he's got something to say. Yeah, not right now for Colin Castleton. <laughs> Bring him on, he said. He's got 20 and 9. 53 points in his last, what, three quarters and change. Three halves and change, I should say. My math has been way off tonight. Davis, block number four. Tapped out, back to the Gators. And another timeout. Colin Castleton. Big fella touches, they've been more successful. Stat line impressive. Florida start this second half also impressive and now working against trapping full court pressure better fake a pass to make a pass is that coaching 101 101 fake a shot to make a shot does that work too sometimes all right castleton we know what works here davis the rebound fau Inside the golden, his first points. Nice job of the big fella running the floor. Lead down to seven, so golden back on the floor with the three personals. Do the analytics suggest that that's a bit too early, or no? I don't think so. Lofton for three. Well, that Not too early for him. <laughs> that time, Castleton as a screener drew all the attention, so Lofton took advantage. Forrest probing, gets a screen and a finish. 13. That, that time Golden did a nice job of screening Castleton from being a help defender. Lead back to eight. Gators picked as high as six in the SEC preseason poll. FAU fifth in Conference USA. Richard off the mark. Yeah, if you work that hard to get an offensive rebound, don't flip it back up though. First game of the season for Michael Forrest. Senior engineering major. Shot clock at eight. Davis the jump stop. Golden inside with the miss. That's yeah, one he'd like to have back. Great execution in the half court. Kawasi Reeves. Wow, that better go in. That is quick. But there's Richard again. He, he is so good as an offensive rebounder. Without looking, what would you think his stat line would be? Castleton, we know what his is. I mean, Richard's got nine and seven tonight. Wow, did that go over and back? Three-pointers good, and that's Elijah Martin. Yeah, that's the first time Florida looked a little gassed. They played so hard here. 
and especially Castleton, and I sense the same thing from Todd Golden because I see Jatobo ready to come in. Al's now 9 of 16 from deep. Castleton in mid-range. Yeah, but you notice it came from Lofton. Lofton is reading that beautifully right now. Gaffney. Golden against Castleton. Muscle that went in. Nice job by the young big fella that time. Averaging 13 and a half points a game. To me, he's been their biggest surprise in the early going of this season. The four points tonight, part due to foul trouble with those three personals. Lofton, no. Owls get it back. Or is high off the glass, and just like that, a one possession game. But again, Golden did the same thing, screening off Castleton. Well, the pace picked up, didn't it, the first seven-plus minutes? Certainly did. Castleton again. Another spin. And now Kowasi Reeves. Golden comes away with it. Martin hits the deck. Somehow got it back. Yeah, shot selection at times has been shaky. Gaffney, how did he get that shot off? That is sensational. High degree of difficulty. The rim was protection that time, and now a 6-0 burst by FAU. Well, the defender's just grabbing Castleton's jersey. He's got 24 with that bucket. <laughs> and a timeout called by Todd Golden. Al Strong. Florida Hoops, thank you for your service. To all the veterans watching today, this week, last week, we salute you as well. Amen. Approaching the halfway point of the second. Out of the timeout. Forrest for three. Short Rosado missed the layup. Fudge. Full head of steam and an offensive foul. His third. I didn't like the loft and pass. He put Fudge in an impossible situation. Wasn't enough spacing there, and Lofton actually looked over to the bench and went, my bad. But just, you've got to stop, though. You've got to gather yourself real quick. Lofton has not done much wrong tonight. Niles Lane on the court for the first time this evening. Number four in white for the Gators. Yeah, he's got one job right now. Guard Michael Forrest. Boyd, no. Lofton will push. Ahead to Fudge. Jatobo. Lane was stripped. No reason to put it on the deck. Boyd open. And the rebound on the stick back by Weatherspoon. So Brandon Weatherspoon off the bench. I just love the fight, the grit of this FAU team. Significant minutes tonight. 23 in blue. Brandon Weatherspoon. Junior out of Canton, Mississippi. Lane. Well off the mark. Another shoe comes off. That was Jatobos. Don't forget, coming up Thursday night, our college basketball doubleheader right here on SEC Network. National Player of the Year, Oscar Sheepway is back. SC State's in town in Lexington, live from Rump, 7 Eastern, the place to be. Mississippi State and South Dakota will follow that one with Tolu Smith. Preseason all-conference back in action for the Bulldogs. And, uh, and speaking of national players of the year, two from LSU, two from Big Blue Nation. That very first guy, as I growing up as a youngster in Kentucky, that was my guy. Pete Maravich. Yes. I wore the floppy socks and everything. Did you have the hair going too? No. And still don't. <laughs> FAU back in front. Last lead was 35-33 in the corner. Trey is good. And this backup group for Florida right now. That was
Nicholas Martin with a triple and a foul call. Weatherspoon some 25 feet away from the rim. Are your feet above the arc again? Florida's defenders run right into screens. And if you're going to do that, you're asking for trouble. And another three ball this time by Martin. You ought to know you have to guard him. He was 40% from bonus land a year ago. Second three of the second half for the Owls after an 8 for 13 start from distance. Now 10 of 19 for the game. Lofton fade away. And that may have been blocked. Golden inside against Castleton. No. Numbers. Richard left open. Back to FAU. Now this is where Golden will learn that you're playing against an elite shot blocker. Show the ball. Maybe show the ball twice. Castleton with yet another rejection. Fifth of the night. He's got nine rebounds and 24 points. Coming off the career high, 33 against Kennesaw State. But how about FAU taking the blows of Florida in the first eight minutes and have come right back at them? Can I apply the transitive property of basketball yes. for a second? Ole Miss beat this team by 13. This is a pretty good-looking ball club. Does yes. that tell you anything about the Rebels? Um, you know, until they get roughing back, I want to see them healthy. I think that'll make a big difference. Under eight to go. Reeves will feed the big fella. Pump fake elbow jumper. Elijah got, Martin. Yeah, you gotta watch out if fatigue shots start coming up short. Weatherspoon. Why not? It's all net. But don't you think this team is playing with some confidence now? That Weatherspoon family, they can knock down some threes. Yes, they can. Gator scoreless in the last three minutes. Lead swells to five, and now a turnover. And quick hands. FAU's quickness has really bothered Florida on both ends of the floor. Force against Richard. Offensive foul. That's Golden. That's number four. Owls. That's uh, trying to pull the upset on the road. Team that's been on the road for the last eight days due to Hurricane Nicole. Trying to go back. Sleep at home with a dub and a big win on the road in the SEC. Owls in the midst of an 8-0 run out of the timeout. Castleton with a bounce. Isolation that time. It's still the same two-man game. Lofton just reads the action and where the spacing is. He's got 26. Under seven to play. He may get more than 33 tonight. Owls have had no answer inside. The offense has gone through number 12 in white. Gaffney probing. Weatherspoon. Golden off the glass. He's got four fouls. He'll stay on the floor and he connects here. But again, it's FAU's ability to get into the paint. They did change that foul, so Golden still with just three. Martin tries to track it down, and the foul will be called here. Gets lofted. Into the last possession, FAU. Once you get feet in the paint, you attract Castleton. Nifty little bounce pass to Golden. He finishes off the window. We went to that last break. They originally called the foul on number 50, Vlad Golden. They changed it moments later to Michael Force. That scorebook correction critical at this point. Forrest, wide open corner tray. How does that happen? That's the same action that we saw in the front court. In the first half, excuse me. 65-57, largest lead for the Owls. Castleton rips away the rebound, then lost the handle. Now the big fella, now with a double-double. Golden inside, slams it home. And a timeout called by Todd Golden.
morning that he wanted his team to play with purpose. FAU's defense has taken that away from Florida. Myron Jones on the floor, numeral zero in white, a veteran guard, the senior from Birmingham. Gators have time, not as much as they would like. Castleton inside, too strong. And the rebound by Davis. Force will push tempo to Martin. Inside lays it in. And right now, Florida has no answer. FAU, the better team. A 9 nothing run for the Owls. Lofton. They're, these are just kind of hope shots. It's a 17 to 2 run. Just when it felt like Florida was going to run away with this. Owls have come roaring back. Davis, touch, shot, and a tough landing. Roy, it seems like the Florida defenders have been a step slow chasing FAU into the paint all game long. I would agree. Owls have now made six straight. Lead at 14. This was a 51-41 game in favor of the Gators. That's a 30-6 scoring barrage. Castleton with 28. Todd Golden will call a timeout. Uh, and made six turnovers. When you have more threes than you have turnovers, good things happen. Florida going down the floor a little bit. Gators need some stops. Forrest. I don't know that the Gators, Roy, can come up empty on many trips from this point forward. Rotation there to Kowasi Reeves. That's a big shot from downtown. The lead down to nine. Good ball rotation. Castleton on the left side of the floor gets a touch and Reeves the beneficiary on the right corner. Bounce pass to Weatherspoon. Outside to Martin. Castleton cleans the glass. Another double double, his 14th of his career. Reeves feeling it. 71 65. And a timeout called by the Owls. Time left in this one. Remember, Florida has fouls to give. As a matter of fact, both teams have fouls to give. So you can be a little aggressive. Run and jump. Forrest tracks it out. And yeah, you wonder if FAU is getting a little too conservative. I think five minutes ago they would have taken that and attacked. Golden against Castleton. Shot clock at eight. Fudge fell down. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Forrest who stuck his leg out on the three-point shot. Great That's his call. fourth. Great call by you, partner. He had fumbled the basketball. Then as he shoots, he kicks that right leg out. It's not a lot. That's a big call. I just wonder. They threw over. They beat the press. They beat the run and jump. I think five minutes ago, they would have attacked the rim. Here come the Gators. What a game this has turned out to be. Reeves. Feeling it. Now all the offense is run through Castleton as a screener to eliminate the switch. 
Kowasi Reeves with 11. He's tied a career high with three threes tonight. Davis has spin. Well oh. short. Basket here makes it a one possession game. Welcome to college hoops, my what? friend. <laughs> Lofton wanted the foul, didn't get the whistle. Martin a quick shot, and connects from downtown. Go back to attacking. I love it. Martin with 11, those three points there, none bigger tonight. Castleton was fouled. This is a drag screen by FAU in transition for Martin. Much more of an attack mode. He catches this, the defender gets picked off on the handoff, and Martin knocks down FAU's 13th free ball. Al's 13 of 23. My math has been terrible tonight, but that's 57%. <laughs> Castleton with 28. He has been solid at the strike. Five for five tonight. Make it six for six. Needs one more. Mark, you mentioned the fact that neither team is really foul in the second half. The Gators have only committed three team fouls. I think if he makes or misses, I think you got to start fouling. And extend the game starting now. Yes, and you got to get to the bonus. Back-to-back -back games for Colin Castleton hitting the 30-point mark. Three off his career high. He'll have a seat on the bench. Pressing team for Florida. Dangerous pass and somehow corralled by Gaffney. I think you've got a foul. 14 foul. Three away from the bonus. Third on Lofton. Castleton come back in. Well, this is just our second game together this year. It feels like we got shoved into early March basketball tonight. <laughs> Forrest outside to Davis. Big miss. Reeves a rebound. Gators got to go. Pretty good luck. No need to panic. Niles Lane and a turnover. Oh, that one hurt. And appreciate Pat Adams coming over and confirming to us that you just couldn't tell exactly how that ball went out of bounds. Denied trap foul. And a timeout was called, I believe. FAU out of timeouts. Oh, no, they have two. My apologies. Uh, we've had all kinds of strange things going on now. I know Michael Forrest acts like they didn't have any timeouts left. Gators are out of timeouts. Score trackers showing two in front of us. So what that meant was they did not have a timeout. So that's an excessive timeout. Class B technical. The only exception is too many timeouts. 
to make it a two-shot foul, and then it'll be point of interruption. So Florida can make this a one-possession game. The score tracker shows two timeouts for Florida Atlantic, none for Florida. That obviously incorrect. Our graphic on the screen, those four dots showing FAU out of timeouts. We had it right. And that'll put the Gators at the line. So what a massive turn of events that is. Ball didn't lie? Ball didn't lie. <laughs> How about choosing Will Richard, transfer from Belmont, to shoot your free throw? Cannot simulate this in practice. He remains perfect. Tonight and all this season. One possession game. I still think, Roy, even though it's a one possession game, you have to press and you have to foul. Still extended. Yeah, you need to get to the bonus just in case. Three fouls away from that. Trapping pressure again. Fouls out of timeouts. They'll break it this time. And a foul call. And for FAU, even though shot clock is an issue, you have to play a little keep away. Come and meet all passes. First on Niles Lane. Fifth team foul. They've got one more to give before getting to the bonus. Finally a whistle, Fudge Clip Davis, his fourth. Looking out at the floor, I mean, I guess you would foul Rosado because he was 65% last year. But they are getting the ball inbounds way too easy. Michael Forrest will check back in. Rosado's been better <laughs> at the stripe this season, but he'll step down here. <laughs> I think Dusty May was thinking the same thing I was. Morris gets it, quickly fouled by Reeves. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the guy you want to foul, though. Forrest, 86% a year ago. But again, it's about extending the game. Al's just three of four at the line. Forrest has yet to attempt a free throw this season, obviously with this game being his very first of 2022 here in the fall. Does not have to be a three with this much time as an answer for Florida, no matter what Forrest does. And it is loud. Clutch. No, don't forget, thinking out loud as soon as we are done here tonight in Gainesville, 9 Eastern. Guys will give you their perspective as only they can. Spencer Hall and Richard Johnson will break down the weekend on the gridiron, talk about the hottest topics for the coming week. Preview next weekend as well. Thinking out loud as soon as we are done tonight. Forrest off the bench with 20 points. Lead back to five. Smart play, one, two, two, just to slow Florida down. Lofton's got to go. Myron Jones has been a sharpshooter in his career, not this time. And the rebound, Golden slides to get it. Turns it over, and Reeves right off of Forrest. Give it back to the Gators. Bodies going everywhere. Jones's deep three was long. The great effort played by Golden inside. Reeves eventually throws it off the defender. I think it almost has to be a three now. Now 
Fouls up five. 17.6 seconds to go. Castleton, Richard, has to launch. And it connects! One possession game. FAU out of timeouts. Martin lost the handle. Jump ball, and the arrow favors FAU. Take another look. Richard with the force three. I thought this was a good play coming off the screen by Castleton. Just enough room for him to see the rim. Two point game. 8.2 seconds to go. Both teams out of timeouts. Todd Golden trying to engineer a comeback late for trailing by 14 at 71 57. Boris has it. Escapes pressure. Bounce pass Greenlee. Martin lost the handle. Time running out. And a late whistle. And Todd Golden out near the logo. Telling Joe Lindsay he thought there was a foul well before the whistle was actually blown. Way back in the backcourt. Yeah, again, Florida was chasing to try and foul. I didn't see a foul along the way. Point one second remains. I wonder if they'll take a look at the timing just to make sure. Would think so. Not sure how Forrest escaped all of that pressure unscathed. But how about Flor Forrest giving the ball up on the sideline? Even though you know he wants to go to the free throw line, especially after making the last two. Gators led in the second half, 51-41. 30 to six surge by Florida Atlantic. Changed all of that. Owls led by 14 before this latest Florida rally. Yeah, point one, it's over. It's done. No matter what happens on the free throws, not enough time. Get off any kind of shot. That kind of distance. And FAU comes into Gainesville, defeating Florida for the first time ever.